Okay, um, I'm not gonna edit this video at all. Um, if you hear my stomach rumbling, then apologies for that. Um, I am not eating at all um, during the days anymore. I just don't eat. Um, I take a sedative at night and then after I've had the sedative is when I eat something but I don't want to eat at all or drink. I've just lost my appetite. I just don't, I can't eat. Um, so, um, I don't know, I didn't really make any plans for what I was going to say in the video, but I just felt like I needed to say something. Um, I am struggling a lot. Um, I'm really um, having a hard time um, at the moment. I think it's been about three or four months now. Um, I've kind of felt myself going into this for about three or four months, I think. Um, things are not good. I'm sorry about my stomach rumbling. Like It will just keep rumbling because I'm not eating. So it just, it can rumble all at once. <laughs> Like, I'm not eating anything. Um, I've not been good for months now at all. Um, and I don't really know what to do anymore. So, um, I've been struggling a lot. Like, over the past couple... Things got really bad over the past couple of weeks. Really bad. Um... worse than I don't know it's hard to describe it's like I feel very disconnected from it even as I talk about it I feel very disconnected from everything but I feel like um I don't know what to do anymore I just don't know what to do how to live like I don't know how to be a person anymore I don't know how to I just can't do it um I I am getting help um but I've got to be honest with you I don't think that they are going to be able to help me I just don't I don't think they are um I've been in and out of the system since I was like 12. Um, and I'm just tired of going round and round the system. Um, I've got no faith in, in, in anything but God. Um, I feel that, I feel like I'm going mad. I feel like I'm going mad and maybe I am going mad. And I think I can't get past what is happening in Gaza. I can't get past it. I can't understand how everyone is going on with their lives like we're not seeing what is happening to the people in Gaza? I can't forgive people. How do you carry on? How do you keep going among, like, in a world where people just don't care? I... And I think... Sometimes I think, like... I don't even know. I feel like I'm going mad. I feel like I'm going mad because everyone is just going on with their lives. There is no joy in anything. Nothing. And then I feel guilt if I distract myself. Because it isn't right. What is the point of being alive, of being a human being, 
if children are dying horrible deaths there are children that are dying in pain and having their limbs amputated they are in refugee camps they are in hospitals um i believe now khan yunis is being attacked it's it's happening right before our eyes and it feels like there's nothing we can do and everyone's just going on with their lives everyone's just carrying on like it's not happening I don't understand it. Are they not seeing it? How are they just going on with their lives like nothing is happening? It feels like nothing we do will stop it. Because, like, people march for a ceasefire. And the politicians don't care. There's no hope because they don't care. The very bare minimum you expect of human beings is that human beings will be for a ceasefire. Surely it doesn't matter even what side you're on. The world has gone completely insane. And then we're bombing suddenly out of nowhere. We're willing to suddenly jump into action because a shipping route is threatened. How, like, do we live among people who do not care, like, when those children are in pain? Like, I have seen so many dead children, children who are crying, who are injured, like, just little kids. And I don't understand how anyone with their own children or anyone who knows children, like, can possibly just carry on. I don't know. It's appalling. It's just... I don't understand the world we live in. I don't understand the people. I just feel angry all the time. I feel sick every day. And then I feel guilt because what right have I got to be like this? When I have a roof over my head, when I have food and water, I'm not being bombed. I just can't handle it. I can't handle anything. I just, I'm not coping at all. And I don't think there's anything that can help me at this point. I just don't, I can't see a way out of this anymore. And I tried reaching out, but I don't know. I am accessing help, so a really b bad thing happened like a couple of weeks ago. Um, really bad. And then I got help. My mum actually got me help. Um, I got in touch with the crisis team and I think it's been like they're discussing options and stuff tomorrow but I just can't see I don't know I just don't know what to do anymore um but I, I am getting help, so I just have to think maybe they'll be able to help me, but I don't think that now they will. I don't think so. I don't think when you're 29 years old. I don't think. I think if there was a way to really help, then I think that would have come by now. Um, so that's why I've not been on the channel for a while um, I just I don't know I love you guys so much 
I really am so grateful. I'm so grateful that there are people out there who, you know, reached out to me and have been so kind. And to know that there are good people out there in the world. It's been so important to me. Um, I just don't know what to do anymore. Um, I'm just waiting on help. Um, but the world is not a good place. It's just not a good place. I don't know. Um, I guess... I don't even know why I made this. I think I just wanted to, like... Let you guys know what's going on. Why I'm not making videos a lot at the moment. I don't know when I'll make another one. I don't know, I'm just in a really bad place. I'm just in a really bad place. Um, and it's just been about four months now. Getting lower and lower and lower. And ultimately just feeling completely alone. But I know that I'm not alone because I have you guys. Thank you so much for being so kind to me. Thank you for being my friends. Um, I'm sure I'll be okay. Um, I'm going to get help. I don't know what they're going to be able to do, but I have to stay hopeful and keep praying. I'm sure that God has a purpose for me. Um, so in my absence, like I, I might be, I don't know when I'm going to be back on here, but um, please, please do whatever you can to try and push for a ceasefire. Please share resources. Please speak whenever you can. You know, what's the point in any of us, like, what's the point in anything if we can't try and move towards a peaceful world? I wish that was the world we lived in now, but it's not, it's not, it's not the world we live in. But, um, I'm gonna try and keep sharing resources and things on Twitter whenever I can, um, but I'm... I was going to say I'm not myself, but I feel like I am myself. Um, everything's just got very dark. And I think... I don't think that's just me. I think that's... Like, what do you do when it actually has got like that? It's not just your brain. It's like... That's the world. Um, I don't know. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being around and helping me. And I'm sure I'll be back, hopefully soon. Um, I'll be sharing resources. Please donate some medical aid for Palestinians to the Gaza Oxfam Appeal. Just please do what you can. Um, um, and I like, don't worry about me because like I am accessing help. And it will be as God wills. So, you know, I would be grateful if, if you're religious, if you could say a prayer for me. But I don't know. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's not a good world. It's not a good world. And 
I just feel totally alone. Thank you for watching. I am okay. Um, I've I've got the crisis team saw me and they're gonna help. Um, so I am okay. Like I, I am all right. But I don't know. Thank you. I love you loads. And like, you know, it's fine. They are sorting something out for me, and I'll update you. so tired all right i love you loads and i will see you really soon hopefully when i'm feeling better and please please do what you can for gaza i even feel guilty making this because what the hell are my problems compared to the people in gaza right now i love you loads and i'll see you soon hopefully hopefully things will be better by then i don't know I really love you. Okay, bye.